Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Lesson 8. So in this video, we're going to learn the verbal reasoning technique, complete the letter series. So now, let's get started. Now, let's look at this example. So firstly, we are going to look at the first letter from each pair. So we're going to look at E and F. So now we have to see what we have to do to E to get to F. To do that, we're going to look at the alphabet. So we have to move one step forward from E to F. So that's going to be plus one. So write plus one over here. Now we are going to see what we have to do from F to get to G. So again, we are going to look at the alphabet. So we're in the alphabet, we can see F is over here, G is over here. One step forward is going to be plus one. So write plus one. Now again, G to H. So look at the alphabet now. So alphabet G is over here, H is over here. One step forward is also going to be plus one. So write plus one. Now, H to I. So H to I, again, we're going to look at the alphabet. So H is over here, I is over here. One step forward, which is going to be plus one. So write plus one. Now, to get the first letter of our answer, we have to do plus one from I. So we have to move one step forward from I. So moving one step forward from I, so I is over here, one step forward will lead us to J. Now let's find the second part of our answer. So second letter this time, so U and R. What we have to get from U to R, so again, look at the alphabet. So U is over here and R is over here. So we have to move one, two, three. Three steps backwards, so that will be minus three. So write minus three. Now R to O. Again, look at the alphabet. So R is over here, O is over here. So one, two, three three steps backwards, so that's also going to be minus three. So write minus three, O to L, so O to L, look at the alphabet, O is over here, L is over here, so one, two, three, minus three steps, so that's going to be minus three. And then L to I, again, look at the alphabet, so L is over here, I is over here, one, two, three, minus three, so write minus three over here. So now we have to move three steps backwards, from I to get to our second part of the answer. Okay, so I is over here, three steps backwards, one, two, three, minus three, F. So the second part of our answer is F. So our answer is J, F. So well done guys for doing everything so far. Now let's move on to the next example. We are about to see right here, it's a bit trickier than the previous example. This is because as you guys could see, we have two sequences going on. So we have one sequence here, so E, F, G, H, I, J, and K, L, they are one sequence, and V, U, R, Q, and N, M, they're a separate sequence. But as you guys could see, we have to use this sequence to actually get the answer. So again, we are going to do the same thing. Let's look at the first letter, so V and R. So what we have to do to V to get to R, so V is over here, and R is over here. So we have to move one, two, three, four, Four steps backwards, so that will be minus four. So write minus four. So from V to R, we got that's minus four. So now we're going to do R to N. So again, we are going to do the same thing. Look at the alphabet. R is over here, N is over here. One, two, three, four, minus four steps, because four steps backwards. So write minus four. From N, we have to do minus four to get the answer. So minus four from N, N is over here, one, two, three, four. If we do minus four, we land at J. So J is going to be the first part of our answer, so write J. Now we're going to look at the second part, so U to Q, so what we have to do to U to give us Q. So again, look at the alphabet, so U is over here, one, two, three, four, minus four steps backwards to give us Q, so minus four. Now from Q to M, so what we have to do to Q to M, so again, look at the alphabet, Q is over here, M is over here, one, two, three, four. So minus four, so write minus four. So now to get give us the second part of our answer, we have to do minus four from M. So minus four from M, so let's look at the alphabet now. So M is over here, minus four, one, two, three, four. If we do minus four, we land at I. So the second part of our answer is I, and the answer is J, I. So well done guys for doing this one right. And now let's go into our final example. Now let's look at this example. So I to H. 
So let's look at the first letter, so I to H. So now let's look at the alphabet. So I is over here, H is over here. We have to move one step backwards, so that's going to be minus 1. So write minus 1 from H to G. So H is over here, G is over here. One step backwards, minus 1. So minus 1 once again. So write minus 1 is from G to F. So what we have to do to G to get to F, so look at the alphabet. G is over here, F is over here. One step backwards is going to be minus 1. So write minus 1 from F to E. So F is over here and E is over here. One step backwards is minus 1. So write minus 1. Okay, so we're going to do E to D now. So let's look at the alphabet. So E is over here, D is over here. One step backwards is also minus 1. Now we have to do minus 1 from D to give us the answer. So minus 1 from D. Now let's look at the alphabet. So D is over here, minus 1, C. So write C. Now we're going to look at the second letter. So R to P. R is over here, P is over here, 1, 2. We're going minus 2 now. So write minus 2. So P to S this time. So look at the alphabet. So P is over here and S is over here. So we are going 1, 2, 3. We're going to 3 forwards this time. So it's going to be plus 3. So write plus 3 now. So S to O. So S to O, again, we are going to do the same thing. S is over here, O is over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, this time we're going minus 4. So we're going backwards. So write minus 4. So now O to T. So O is over here, T is over here. So we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So plus 5. So it's going to be plus 5 right here. So write it down from T to N. So that's the next thing we are going to do. So T is over here, N is over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's going 6 backwards, so it's going to be minus 6. You got the pattern yet? As you guys could see, we are going minus 2, plus 3, minus 4, plus 5, minus 6. So it's going to be plus 7. So plus 7. Let's look at, so we're going to start from N, plus 7 from N, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So plus 7 will land us at U. So the second part of our answer is U. So our answer is CU. So with that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to see videos more like this one, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any new uploads. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.